guys, gals, and non-binary pals, GM Potter here, and today we will be going over the Owl Crate for August of 2022. So, I got my box here. I already cut through the tape down at the bottom, so let's get into it. And it has, again, on the inside, the little guide to unboxing, So, which is what we are doing today. So, here's the card. Hard. It looks really pretty. It says steeped in folklore. These are the spoilers for the box. So let's not read this yet. Let's get into it. We've got little little wormies. Oop, and there's something in the wormies. So let's set that to the side because I see something big. And this must be the Middle Earth. Like we've got Mordor. We've got like it looks really cool. And it's Owl Crate collection. Ooh. So we've got Rivendell on the inside and then we've got Elvish script and these absolutely gorgeous colors around the outside. That looks absolutely amazing. And it's probably going to be I don't know what I'm Oh, it's got the little Owl Crate logo on the bottom. That's cute. Um, that's really cute. It's a good size. I'll probably eat ice cream out of it. Like, not a full bowl of ice cream, because I can't eat that much ice cream, but I'll probably eat ice cream out of it. So let's see what this is. It's just a little envelope that says Owl Crate. Aww. It's a little white wolf. Inspired by the wolf and the woodsman, it's an enamel zipper pull. That is really cute. I haven't read that book, but that is... Let's see if I can get you a little closer. That is beautiful. I like that. Like, I like keychains and little bag charms, so I'll probably put that in my purse. Ooh, we have some tea. Red alert, we have tea. From Riddle's Tea Shop. She pulled a pouch of tea from the basket. The bag read an Owl Crate exclusive and smelled simply delicious. Magic seemed to waft up from the bag as she carefully opened it, inhaled deeply, and it smelled like banana bread. How delightful. Steeped in folklore. Uh, it's a honey bush tea, apple pieces, uh, decaf Ceylon tea, cocoa nibs, cinnamon, uh, natural banana flavor, natural chestnut flavor, marigold flowers, and natural vanilla flavor. Gluten-free, nut-free, dairy-free, and a decaf tea. Uh, steep at 210 degrees for four minutes. Use one teaspoon per cup, and you actually get to see the tea. Like, let me get that up there for you. Like, it looks good. Like, it looks like a nice, healthy tea. I'm going to open it and smell it. Oh, that does smell like banana bread. It smells like banana bread. Like, it smells amazing. Okay, I'm gonna have to have a cup of that later. <coughs> so, we have something else that comes in plastic. Um, looks like some sort of fabric. Is this a flag or a pillowcase? I think it's a pillowcase. Uh, no, it's a banner. It's a banner. And it says, there was a song in this forest. So, let me see. I can't show the whole thing. There was a song in this forest. So, really pretty. Kind of like a, like a tapestry, I guess. And then we have something else. To this day, cranes carry the strands of our fate. That's really pretty. And then there's the back. Is this origami? Oh, it's origami! And we've got... Okay. So we've got how to make paper cranes. And then we've got lots of pretty paper and this is such a cute little little thing i am terrible at origami um so i might pass this along to my niece and nephew because they're actually supposed to be really good at origami or at least they really enjoy it so let's do the little pin now so it says literary luggage owl crate limited edition enamel pin collection this is design 8 of 12. and this one is oh that's cute 
sailed through the port of Kraos, inspired by Fable. So let me get that up there so you can see it. Uh, designed in collaboration with Hey Atlantis Creative. And then we have the book, which is The Drown Drowned Woods, uh, author of The Bone House by Emily Lloyd-Jones. Oceans will rise and a kingdom will fall. So that looks really cool. And the letter on the back says, Dear Owlcrate Reader, as long as I can remember, I've loved two things, forest, forests and fairy tales. When I was younger, I would go into the woods for comfort, solitude, and a place to think. I made up my own stories about magic and adventures that might be found among the Douglas firs and blackberry briars. As I set out to write this book, I tried to recapture those feelings of magic and possibility to write a story that combined old fairy tales and new characters. And of course, I made it a heist because I love heists. I hope you enjoy it, f friends. All best. Emily Lloyd-Jones. That is so cool. There's the letter. And it's got a little puppy which is super cute. And then the card at the very bottom of the box, this is the little magazine that we get. Um, ooh, it has a Middle Earth abode. Where should you live in Middle Earth? The answers are the Shire, Rivendell, and Erebor, which is, for me, probably the Shire because I, I'm, I'm a tall hobbit, but I do have hobbity feet. They're a little furry. So, and then we have interview with a vendor uh, the person who made the, uh, the There Was a Song in This Forest uh, banner, which is kind of cool. Uh, August Book Photo Challenge. It's time for another off owl babble. Uh, steeped in folklore. Um, they have other releases we're excited about this month. The Book Eaters, Three Kisses, One Midnight, Wild is the Witch, Belladonna, and Babble. So, there are the other books. I like this design with the leaves and the bluey green and the gold. It's really pretty. And then, oh, if I can get this card out. I just got my nails done yesterday and I can't pick anything up. Oh. So, it says Memento Mori. Uh, every September box will include an exclusive hand-poured candle from Flick the Wick. So that's cool. So I guess the September theme is Memento Mori, which it's got a little, a little skull there. I love skulls. I love anything spooky. So that is awesome. So yeah, I'm excited to read the book. It looks, it sounds good. I love a good heist story. And I love the wood, woods and... Yeah. Um, do you get Owl Crate? Did you get did you get a different pin this month? Uh let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.